We're learning more about a local business owner accused of animal cruelty at his pet grooming business in Central El Paso. KTSM 9 News reporter Selena Quintana is live in Central El Paso with more. Luis Vargas, the owner of Carlu Groomers, which is right behind me, was arrested after one of his clients' pets died after using his services. And one former, or actually came to the business earlier today where Vargas opened the door for me when I asked him if he wanted to tell me his side of the story. He told me I could take it up with his lawyers. One of his former customers tells me this isn't the first time something like this has happened. This is video of little Goliath limping after his visit at Carlu Pet Grooming earlier this year. His owner told me after she took him to the vet, things were worse than she thought. He didn't have any broken bones that he told me of, but he had a torn ligament. So he asked me if he could perform surgery on him and told me that he was about to start prepping him, getting him ready, and he just passed. He just she said she had asked Luis Vargas, the shop's owner, to trim around his paws when his ligament was torn. A similar story with the death of an 11-month-old husky. Police say the husky was found limp after being picked up from the shop and was immediately taken to a vet where the animal died. According to the vet, the husky suffered from multiple injuries. As for Goliath's owner, she says Vargas was sweet, but she believes it was a helper he hired that mishandled her dog because that's when they started to act up. And I started noticing that my, my dog just didn't really want to go there, but... You know, you don't really pay attention to that. Vasquez also tells me she never had any problems with Vargas for the 15 years she had been going with him, but hopes whoever hurt the dog is caught. When I reached out to Vargas' own, um, lawyers, they went ahead and told me that they have yet to receive the police report, so they haven't even started their own investigation, but they're planning on receiving it tomorrow when they'll start investigating themselves. Vargas right now is out on bond. Reporting in Central El Paso, Selena Quintana, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Selena.